you know, there were things that you did, and that's the thing I also want to talk about with your vendors. Like, they can be so much more. So, like, you helped decorate my cake. Mm-hmm. You put the florals on the on the wedding cake. Like, you took pieces. Like, right? How did, how did that work? I don't remember. Um, I was in the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> in the cold. Yeah, I just made sure to save, you know, the – you want everything to sort of translate throughout everything. So – every bit of the night, every decision we made sort of resurfaces and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so more it resurfaces. Flowers. That's such a good word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but so yeah, I remember like we just, we like added florals to the cake. Um, mm-hmm. We did the um, sweetheart table. You decorated the sweetheart table, all the tables inside. Um, even the ceremony part, Desiree, you know, was like, oh, do you want to get, it was her idea to get the confetti cannons. Oh, I loved, and for the um, reception, when you walked out with all of the, when, I don't know, it was like crystals. That's all it Desiree. It's all Desiree. I and loved that. Again, like, and because who knew on a rot at Ankari, they were, I don't really care about flowers, that like all this stuff is part of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, yeah. like, and, and you did so much. I mean, I, there's a, the iconic picture of the confetti gun going off, and I was just, I forgot about them, and I was just shook. I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was your idea. And even you made the little confetti at the end of, like, the aisles for the people sitting down. Um, and then I remember you were like, oh, and what about the um, place cards? And I hadn't even thought of place cards yet. You know, no. like, it just wasn't even on my mind. Like, I don't know. There was so much shit that, like, you don't think of, you know? Right. Well, I mean, you're not doing this before. This is the first time you're doing this in your life. How could you possibly know? Like, it really is your vendor's job to sort of help and guide you and make suggestions. You don't have to take them, um, but at least you know. I remember, I think it was you, you were like, I didn't even think about, you know, something for my mom or something for my grandma or, you know, like. Oh, yeah. yeah, Oh, my God. Like, think about it. Like, no, yeah, it's something that, like, it's important to do details like that. But at the same time, like, you're like, I'm the bride and I have to think of all these other people. And Mm -hmm. you don't think of that until somebody reminds you. And like, you know, my family was old school. Like my my mom, my mother in law, they all wanted they all wanted flowers. You know what I mean? Like. And Mm -hmm. Denny, what did Denny wear? Denny wore like a little thingy. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. He had a little boutonniere. (laughs) 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 but like even that i remember you being like we're gonna make it very deady very manly like as manly as you can make a boot in here Uh (laughs) my favorite though part of your guys wedding out of all of your pictures was denny playing football with the guys like just so classic that was my favorite he just seemed in such his element it was so cute the best part is i'm like where the fuck did he get a football from i know me too like the rest of the (laughs) girls have been getting ready since 6 a.m and he's just casually playing football in his in his suit with his groomsmen like they're all dressed up (laughs) like what the fuck it would be my voice too i loved it i was like that is awesome (laughs) (laughs) because i didn't think of that one i can't i can't take uh, credit for that. i can't either i have no (laughs) idea where that came from to be honest the venue probably had it (laughs) so cool but that's one of those things though that like help loosen everybody up help like you know there's just mm-hmm. so many little things but it really is it's really important to make sure that you touch on all the things that matter to you what is special to you and it's our job as vendors to kind of run through a list of things and make sure you're staying true to yourself and remember i remember saying to you like are you going to like this 10 years from now are yeah. you sure you know like mm-hmm. we have to make sure because you can get lost in that sort of pinterest rabbit hole of cool, trendy things. You're so, make sure. so right. It's so yeah. true. Right? Um, so make sure you stay true to yourselves and, and the rest should be taken care of by us. <laughs> and that, you know what? She brings up a really good point because we were talking about like how to get your vendors and get recommendations from friends and family. But like talk to if you booked your vendor and you like them, she connected me with mm-hmm. so many people. Oh, yeah. They're all intertwined between yes. people that they've worked with she's, before. Exactly. She's worked with the very best. So she recommended the people that she thought would be a good fit for me, which was awesome. I mean, so helpful. Right. So you never right. know, like just getting one or two vendors out of the way might connect you to other things. Well, there's also too, like, I feel like they form sort of like a, a business family where we go in and, and we're, we know how each other work and, and you know, here's some flowers for your, you know, your up close photos, or we all sort of work together really well. And that makes it easier for you guys. It just makes, yes, it, it makes flows. life. It makes the day flow. It does. Yeah. And you know, you only recommend who you would truly trust with the day yourself. So yes. I also feel like you recommended people like based off my style. It wasn't just like, Oh, I know a photographer. You're like, Oh, I know like this fantastic photographer. You know what I mean? That like was mm-hmm. so your style and like your vision. Right. Like, have you noticed some photographers shoot differently? Oh my like, God. Yeah. Blown out. Totally. It's light. I remember we talked about this. Like, yes. 
You have to make sure, yeah. There's so many different types of vendors out there right now, all incredible in their own way. It's just which one's the right fit for you. Desiree, do you feel like you've worked with, have you worked with any like super difficult brides that you're just like, uh, oh God, help me? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Wait, was I one of those rides? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely not. I mean, please, I texted you, what, two weeks ago in the middle of a consultation? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> um, uh, yes, you know, there there has been some that, you know, it's just not a good fit. You know, it's it really it comes down to just flowers just not being that important. You yeah, know? true, true, and true, true. Yeah. I mean, I this is the sole income for some people. This is how we provide for our family. So if it's not like what you see for your day, then you I mean, some people call me for candles. I'm like, I am not the person for candles, you know, You're the candle lady. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, not just candles, you know, you need flowers, you know, uh, Desiree's like, yo, it was just that bed, bath and beyond grabbing some candles and <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, honest. I mean, it's, it's tough. And there, there is, there is times where it's just not a good fit. And, yeah, it's I, best for all parties to I, go their separate ways. <laughs> I feel that um, when I do makeup, too, there's just some times where I'm like, I don't need the business that bad. Like, you're not going to treat me, you know, because brides can be fucking crazy. Listen, we all get crazy oh my God, during this process. is the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's a reason. There's a it's a word. There's an actual yeah. dictionary word dictionary. for what happens to women when they get engaged. They, they <laughs> morph. It's <laughs> fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so true you know you great you never had your bride still a moment not with me anyway oh, oh. i you know, did story, i did but... I, uh, <laughs> jessica's I like was you just beast. didn't see it i was a beast <laughs> well thankfully i was on the good end of things but yes. yeah it's our job to make sure that you're happy you know <laughs> yes you know and that's why like i don't know when you pick your vendors it's more than just oh i like their work like you really do have to connect with them yeah you That's know how I, mean? I was with my videographer. We became very close. Yes. You know, I'll never forget my photographer was like, what, give me one word that you want your to describe your wedding when it's all said and done. And I was like, epic. And she was like, you just help me like figure out the direction Aww. to take. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, you know, so it, I just little things like that are, are so important, you know? People still talk about your wedding. So I think I think we nailed Epic. I think when when you get that, when you get, I think still the get unicorn like, pretty much killed it with the Epic so, thing. Trace, listen yeah. to this. My, I'm sitting outside drinking and I'm like, is that a fucking unicorn? And I was like, yep, there it is. <laughs> Jessica walking with a unicorn. I was like, wait, the boys were just playing football. She was just walking through like sprinkled confetti and now it's a unicorn i mean come on <laughs> well you know i always tell this story because i honestly like in the moment i f totally forgot about the unicorn the plan was after we said i do we kiss the confetti then the unicorn was going to trot out i totally forgot and all of a sudden everyone turns away from me and i'm like what the <laughs> fuck like I'm walking back down the aisle why is anyone looking at me and they're all like this huge horse is <laughs> just strolling down the street i can't <laughs> Desiree, oh God, can massive. you be my proof? Yes, he was the biggest horse. Like, I've seen horses. This thing was like yeah, a steed. It was gorgeous. This <laughs> horse was gorgeous. It was white. It was beautiful. It was exactly what every fairy tale is made of. The girl sent me a picture of the horse before and was like, it was like brown. She's like, I promise I'm going to wash him for your wedding. And she like, <laughs> wash legit. him? She changed his skin tone. She Michael Jackson to that horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Desiree made the horse's fucking like bouquet around its neck. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know what that to charge horse. for a horse bouquet. Amazing. <laughs> oh my God. I went up to him and I, I was like, you know, hi, how are you, Mr. Horse? But I was shaking inside. He was so big. Her I name was, like, was I... Abby, first of all. Oh, it was, it was a boy. So it was a girl. <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> well, Abby was intimidating. Oh. Was... <laughs> yes. Yes, she was. She made my poor flower girl sob. She was terrified of it. And, yeah. you know, we got it like a unicorn horn of Etsy and the, the fucking horn, it was like whatever is made out of when the horse trotted, the horse is so big, the horn would like bounce up yep. and down. <laughs> so, <get up. laughs> so listen to this, Trey, my though. wedding venue against my well, not wishes, never really asked, but put an album out, not like one or two photos. Mm -hmm. Almost my entire wedding album is there when you go to check out the venue to book. They'll show them my wedding, right? Which is like, sounds fun until like people from Dennis's job and shit have gone to see this venue and they're like riffing on him. They're like, you had a unicorn. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? like, a girly yeah, wedding. Yeah, totally. Like he's getting destroyed and I'm like, and I get it all the time. People are like, I just went to like see this venue and like your photo, there's like an al wedding album of you. And I'm oh like, what the God, fuck? Oh my God, stop it. Poor Denny. 
<laughs> he's like, I'm really embarrassed. Like everyone's ripping on me at work. You know how they yeah, do like poor boys, cop, calcium. Yeah, they, and blow, all they blow up the pictures and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the my last inquiry for that, they mentioned the book. <laughs> They're like, you did the flowers for the unicorn, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking unicorn. Oh my god. Uh, wedding yeah, planning I was, it. I don't know. I um. When Wedding it was over, I was emotional. sad, but it was, it's a lot. It becomes your full-time job. It yeah, really it's it does so weird for a four-hour party. I mean, that Ridiculous. is one day. It's not even mm-hmm. a full day, and you just becoming consumed with the, every detail of The it. fastest day of your life. Yeah. Yeah, it does fly by. Well, Desiree, Incredibly thanks for, for talking to us. Um, this was fun. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you. DesireeDeanDesigns.com. Um, yeah, you know, she's a really good example of just picking your vendor, bonding, finding someone that, you know, if you feels good working with. You know, sometimes yeah. you get like a vibe and you're just like, eh, this isn't great we're, we're work, but heads. not per- great person. Yeah. yeah, you know, like you might like their videography, but like when you meet them in person, maybe they're late. Like these are all like important things when you pick your vendors, you know, and and someone like Desiree, like she was so willing to help out with so much crap and, and like take off so much of my stress. So I appreciate you. Thank you for everything. Oh, I appreciate you too. I was happy to be a part of it. And then I'm still happy that we stayed in touch and that I'm still kind of sneaking little peeks into your life and I get to know how you're doing <laughs> and your little podcast and all that. It's not little, but you know what I mean? It's so fun. <laughs> Thank you for having me that you thought of me. Yeah, of course. You know, oh my God. Very special. Of course. Now you are like, I just know you're so involved in this world. Like you live and breathe bridal and, and it's awesome. What's your Instagram page? Just Desiree Dean Design, same thing. I got lucky. You're very good at branding you. (laughs) Working on it. (laughs) Thanks, Desiree. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Okay, bye. (laughs) She's so cute. She's so sweet, right? Yeah. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.